Hey, what's going on everybody? AmpRepairGuy.com here. We have another amp, an Ameritron AL572. Please like, share, and subscribe. It'll let you know right away when I put another video on. So, the guy sent this in. He had a whole bunch of issues. Um, like I've said in other videos, these uh, connections, you know, a lot of people will send amps in and uh, these will be hanging the plate caps. So I tell them to take, carefully tape them so they don't go anywhere. So um, customer did that, but one of the straps had snapped, so I fixed that. A lot of times they're frayed, so I usually put some solder on them. Um, so let's see, where do I start? So TR relay, the wire was off in the back over here, so took it all apart, cleaned the contacts real good, reconnected the solder. I mean, resoldered it, reconnected the wire. Um, he was popping the fuses sometimes upon startup, so he put in bigger fuses to stop that from happening. One of the filter caps was failing, so replaced all the filter caps with new caps, replaced all the equalization resistors, those are all good. Um, he had sent it in for maintenance, and uh, I guess they changed the tube sockets, but a couple of the grid to ground connections were, because the grids are directly grounded, they had bad solder joint. So I re-soldered those connections, cleaned the output rotary switch, cleaned the input rotary switch with my deoxic gold, cleaned the soft start relay. Both of these, um, these are series glitch resistors, 10 ohm, 10 watt, two in series. They were split down the middle. So I replaced those, replaced these tubes. Um, he ordered a set of tubes, so I replaced them. Um, had a bad tube. I actually sent it without tube, so. Um, told him to chuck those tubes. So, yeah, I went through it. It's good to go. With proper fuses in it. It's so important to run the right fuses. Don't ever, don't even go up half an amp larger than what you're supposed to have. Always run the proper fuse. So, this is an older one. Great amp. Produces a, you know, kilowatt plus, no problem. Check the SO239 connectors. They're good. Lowest to less, lowest to be on all bands. Um, that's about it. So she's good to go. So you can find me on AmpRepairGuy.com. My phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Oh, I also changed the meter protection diode. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.